Hello people! So today we are going to have uh, an amazing discussion about a great pronunciation that is the sh sound. This sh sound is used in many words and most of the people normally they don't know that it's pronounced like that. We are going to see the difference between this pronunciation and other symbol that is really common in English. Remember that as there are some words that if you do not pronounce them properly, uh, people may confuse them. But today we are going to use the difference between them. So we are going to enhance with this uh, uh, word. Uh, it is one that belongs to the family of the African sounds. And in English there are nine. We are going to see which one that is the most important uh, when using the pronunciation. Let's do it. Hi guys, welcome back. As I mentioned before, we are going to be working with the pronunciation sh in English. Well, this is a sound that is really common. It has 8% of use in the, all the American pronunciation and uh, it has three words that they can be combined or they can be alone. And uh, with this pronunciation, we are gonna pronounce different words as you're gonna see further. There are some words we are going to present at the beginning, just these four words where we are going to be pronouncing now. The first one is ship, cash, option, and check. The sh sound, as you see, it is just not as you see with the sh sound. I mean, it doesn't have just one word. Like, the, like we can find in other pronunciation in English, but it can be combined with other words or it can be with the sound or with this sound, as uh, you can see in the video. For example, these are the most common uh, fricative pronunciation in English. If you see, the first word just start with the sound and uh, it is used like and we pronounce it like few you can see few the second one is v, like view and the third one's like his the fourth one is z, like his and like fashion z, like vision like think, v, like this, and the last one, ha, like happy. So these are fricative sounds, and uh, they, they are the largest sounds in English. What do we want to say when we say fricative sound? A fricative sound is that one that's made by particularly broken the air which creates an audible sound. And uh, we are gonna see the position of the tongue when pronouncing the sh sound. If you see, our bulbar ridge needs to have a space when we pronounce sh, because you cannot touch the alveolar ridge with the tip of your tongue. If you do that, then you are not going to have the same pronunciation. As I said before, the sh sound is, has an 8% of all the words pronunciation in English. Maybe for you, this percent is not too much, but if you check your dictionary, you are going to find uh, uh, many words that are pronounced with this one. All right, now we are gonna see how our articulatory system is used when we use the sh sound. Check the position of your lips and check the position of your tongue. You need to leave space in order your tongue 
uh, in order the air can uh, fluence by your tongue. If you see, shh, can you see how the air passes by the tongue and the alveolar ridge? Yeah, let's try to pronounce it, please. Help me to pronounce it. Shh. Yeah, please do it with me. Shh. Can you see? It's not so difficult. All right, we are going to do it one more time, please. Can you help me? Shh. Shh. Excellent. Thank you so much. And uh, uh, the sh sound is uh, sometimes uh, mistaken. Uh, some people mistake when they say this word, but please don't do that. As I told you before, please do not talk, do not touch the alveolar ridge with the tip of your tongue because it's not gonna be pronounced accurate, uh, accurate, accurate. Like this pronunciation we have here is not ditch, is dish, is not shop, it's shop. And uh, also we have uh, other uh, mistake that is really common. Uh, that one is pronounced like s with a sound. Here in this picture, you can see that it's not the same when we say shh, that when we say shh. If we say, for example, kiss, then uh, the pronunciation is with S. But if we say ditch, the pronunciation is with the sh sound, the one that we are working with. Check the position of your tongue. Other word is C. And uh, it is pronounced with S, but if we say she, then it is pronounced with a sh sound. Like cell is pronounced with S and shell is pronounced with sh sound. Other different uh, pronunciation that we have here, please do not confuse the word vision, vision. You see, this pronunciation is like zh, zh, like the sound of a V of a B, vision, vision. And uh, the word mission has other pronunciation. Can you see the difference? Vision, vision, mission. Then they are similar, but the pronunciation is different. Try to pronounce it, please, there where you are. Vision, mission. They are different. If you see, they are written different. Try to pronounce it once again, please. Vision, mission. Thank you very much. Yes, you did very well. The pronounce sh, this sound is used in also this word, like push shake, share. And now please, I want you to hear very well these sounds that uh, will be listened like this. Please check it out. Blush. You'll have a few seconds to pronounce the word. Try to go through as many words as possible. Let's start with the sh when it's represented by the combination of the letters SH. Blush. Bush. Dish. Finish. Fish. Leash. Publish. Push. Shake. Share. 
Shine. Short. Shut. Shy. Wash. If you see consonant sounds are pronounced different with uh, with other letter when they are next to them as vowels. Consonant, they have different position of your tongue than when you pronounce vowel. They can be voice or they can be voiceless. Let's practice where, uh, where this sound is repeated by the letter CH and the letter C. They are similar in the pronunciation, but written, they are different. If, if you can see uh, this word that is shame, do you see that the pronunciation is with the sh sound? Do you want to help me, please? Associate. Chef. Chicago. Commercial. Especially. Financial. Gracious. Grocery. Machine. Ocean. Official. Social. Special. Species. Sufficient. Thank you so much. Now we are going to see some consonants. This is the third part of our pronunciation. And we are going to see uh, practice pronouncing words in which the sh sound is represented by the letter T. The letter T is also pronounced with the sh sound. Didn't you know that? Well, maybe it is you for you, but yes. If you belong to the Japanese language, you will see that it is it has some similarity in some pronunciation, but in other, yes. And, and, and uh, maybe you can confuse, but today, right away, right now, you are going to learn the difference between that T sound and uh, when the T is used like an sh sound. Please help me to pronounce it because when you pronounce, you practice. And when you practice, you learn. Remember, practice makes perfect. Action. Completion. Condition. Construction. Corporation. Definition. Dictionary. Election. Emotion. Fiction. Function. Intuition. Location. Patient. Tradition. Thank you so much. You did very, very well. I like the way you pronounce. Well, the consonant sound, shh, there is no stopping uh, when you pronounce it. Please do not say shh. No, the, the pronunciation of it is shh. 
You see, you make the air go past your tongue in the alveolar ridge. Well, now here we can see the most common spelling in the pronunciation of the sh sound, like station, option, she, which, delicious, ocean, sugar, pressure, chef, machine. Well, we are gonna divide now in percents in English with the pronunciation. The percent of it, it rounds like 51 with the T sound. Well, remember, it's not a T sound. It's like a T, but the pronunciation is with sh, like station, option. And uh, SH has a 32%, like she, which. The C is pronounced sh in uh, 7%. And the uh, words that has an S has a 7%. The rest of those are the CH, the, which is used like a sh sound. But even though these words uh, have this uh, percent, it doesn't mean any importance when the, you are going to pronounce it. I really appreciate your attention. I really appreciate your pronunciation. I think you really learned with this video and I really learned also, please pronounce and follow the accurate, accurate pronunciation in English so you will enhance your pronunciation. I really appreciate your comments also and uh, please Please, never stop learning. We have always something new to learn, and uh, this area of linguistic is really deep, the phonetic. Thank you so much to be tuned with us, and uh, let's continue later.